Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I'll be checking out another new track off of Chelsea Grin's upcoming album Suffer in Heaven which will be out on March 17th. The song I last checked out or the first single from this was Sing to the Grave which I loved. That has been a, a track that's been often on the playlist for me. The guitar tone, everything about that track has me very excited to see what this track will be like, what the rest of this album will be like. Suffer in Hell came out at the end of last year so that's been out. This is part two. Uh, the track I'll be checking out today is called Fathomless Ma. I will link the music video I'll be using in this reaction, any sort of merch pre-orders that you can get from Chelsea Grin in the description of this video. Other than that, I'm gonna stop talking and we are gonna get straight into it. Terror is not a new weapon. Throughout history, it has, it has been used by those who could not prevail, but inevitably they, they, they fail. Either because men are not afraid to die for a life worth living, all because the doors of broke came to realize that free men cannot be frightened by threats. All these secrets, since I'm alive. Tom Barber, man. <laughs> Chelsea Grin, Fathomless Ma, let's discuss. So this track and Sing to the Grave have me extremely excited for Suffer in Heaven. I think that that will be my favorite of the two albums, uh, without a doubt. These two have really spoke to me, though I liked a lot. I, I like a lot of really overall what Chelsea Grin has done. Uh, there is it's something in like, with this track, I think a really good example of some of the parts that stuck out to me would be like that drop. It's right around the one minute mark where it says the universe is laughing. And then 
it drops even further after that and it, it's just perfect to me i i love that sound but also in here you have a, a variety once again from tom some of the screams are are layered and i think in the beginning the layering sounds a bit like there are different types of layering in there which i i don't do any uh screaming vocals or anything like that so i have no idea the correct terminology uh, and things like that but uh, even beyond those two things which i think st like the amount of man the, the breakdowns were pretty intense as well there was that one note that tom held for a long ass time i need to go back and like count how long that was because uh, that'll that'll certainly be an eyebrow raiser amongst people uh, listening to this track i think uh, there are just a number of things to pull from this but overall just really like uh, through and through a great track for me this will go probably get more plays than sing to the grave which i i ran that quite a few times more than any of the singles off suffer in hell uh, so these two are, are certainly running the most i think i've i've listened to sing to the grave just about as many times as i've listened to suffer in hell uh, in full like the whole album just this that one single so now with this one uh, to add to it i'll be able to kind of dive a little bit further into that see what the differences really are i'd like to do that before suffer in heaven comes out in full because i will surely be covering the full album on the channel after listening to the, these two singles and then i'll have a better idea of like why i'm i'm far more drawn to suffer in heaven versus hell it's quite interesting but i am glad they did the double because it seems it doesn't seem like just part one of an album that has the same exact sound as part two which sometimes bands do that and it's it seems like it would just be better as like a full album but with this i am feeling like the difference in these two singles compared so i like that we've got this going on that we've got suffer and hell from last year we've got something else to look forward to uh, next month this is uh, hitting it for me this is going to be top chelsea it's going to come up towards the top of my favorite chelsea grin uh, releases it seems if this is the uh, the trajectory or whatever we should expect going into the record uh, it's looking very promising so you've also got things like shortly after the part i was just talking about uh, at the one minute mark where it's got that drop you've got uh, this switch between highs and lows i can't tell what's I, I need to read through the lyrics i couldn't quite tell on one listen what was being said but uh, there was like just that very obvious like high low uh, i think back to high possibly after that and it was another like attention grabbing portion of it but then the solo was really well done you have the uh the emergency siren or i think it's like a a, a raid siren uh, used sorry that took me a good minute to, to get that word to the front of my brain but uh, you've got the siren used in the breakdown which i've heard recently and i cannot remember which song it was that i did recently where i called out the the raid siren again um but i i really like when that's what track was that that's gonna bother me i think it was off a of graphic nature now that i think about it and it was really well done uh, this also it's it's not it doesn't sound anything like the graphic nature track but having it in that different context this is certainly a, a heavy ass track i'm keen to see what else will be on this record because uh, with sing to the grave i felt like i was more drawn by like the guitar tone some of those riffs and that's not to say that it's not the case here uh, but i did feel like my attention had other things uh that kind of like pop to the front which is really promising looking at two singles sometimes when uh, singles come off come out off of a record and my favorite thing is pretty consistent then that stays true throughout the record but i feel like with this you've got like vocal variety you've got uh, you've got a lot going on here also the videos are incredibly well done too i'm pretty sure that this is uh, like they're using the same actor from a different one of their videos uh I don't remember which track it was, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the one with like all the alien stuff in it. I'm, I'm quite sure there was like one portion of the video where I was like, mm, it like clicked for me and looked very familiar. So I could be totally wrong. I probably should have checked before I said that, but here we are and I didn't. So anyway, uh, so there's a lot to, it's not like too long of a track, but three and a half minutes of uh, Aspie the music, that is pretty good. Sometimes it, it gets shorter down there, but uh, having that solo in there and just the, the way that that fit with, I suppose sometimes, like how can I word this without it sounding like I don't enjoy a solo because I very much do. It's very obvious I think that I do, but uh, this one kind of having it feels very fit to what was already going on instrumentally if that makes sense sometimes a solo is put in and it's just meant to shine and be completely separate but this did feel like i guess something like that uh, the beginning part of it like i'm not sure if it's like progression or, or not whatever it is uh, it's it feels very like 
uh, segue into this kind of thing, if that makes sense. So, uh, a lot to, to love about this track. I think this will, like I said, this will get, I think, the most plays from me of anything recently uh, that Chelsea Grin has done. It has me very excited for Suffer in Heaven, which will be out on March 17th. That is going to be a great day. Uh, Suffer in Heaven comes out, and then Heavener from Invent Anime. So, it's, it is a heavenly day. I can't. That's all right. I'm running with it. I'm going with it. So anyway, Chelsea Grin, Fathomless Maw, taken from their upcoming record. As I just said, it will be out on March 17th. Any sort of support links, if there are pre-orders, I will put them in the description. I will surely be taking a look after that track. All their social media, the music video I used in the reaction portion of this, all that good stuff will be in the description of this video. You can also find my link tree, which will have my Patreon that I've been working on. We've got our upcoming stream this weekend, which I, I at the time I'm recording this, we haven't uh, finalized the poll with which day we'll be doing, uh, but by the time I post this, we may have, I'm not sure, but regardless, that will be happening this weekend. Anyone who joins Patreon before the stream will have access to that unlisted link on Patreon, as well as whatever else is offered in the tier that you sign up for. So if you are interested in checking that out, that will be there, as well as the link for the Discord server, which is where the community for my YouTube channel is based. I I love the people in the community. We've got music-related conversation, conversation unrelated to music as well. Just a bunch of music lovers in a community. So if you're interested in joining, checking that out, that will be there. As well as any link that you may need related to my channel, my Instagram, last of them, stuff like that. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.